down here at uh, one of the beautiful lakes at uh, the Linton Course with Neil Kennedy. Neil, I've just taken a walk around the Three Star Course. You're happy with the way it's come out? And maybe tell us a little bit about what you think will be the most influential fences on the course this year. Well, Alison, I don't know. I can't say I'll be happy until I see it jump. But I think it's a pretty good track. I think it's, it's, um, I think it's big, not too tricky. There's some related lines which I think would be interesting. Um, this fence behind us is a new lake fence which is a big roll top into water. And it's pretty serious, it's pretty wide and reasonably tall. And we're coming downhill. So I think all those things are going to make this an interesting fence. I think it's perfectly jumpable, but who knows, it might be the odd little stop. Um, down at the quarry, there's a new roll tops there, a combination, two strides, which will be up in another inch of Over the back, the big stone, the big uh, new sandstone fence. It's just a very big jumping fence, but it's, it's big and it's going to take a bold horse. So I think it's got some big, big elements, but I think it's jumpable. Now, Linton really has a reputation of uh, being big and bold, but generally not too tricky. Has it lived up to its reputation, you think, this year? I think so. I, I never like to build tricky fences, but I mean, the road crossing is certainly a tough tough uh, element coming home, particularly the CCIs, up to five kilometres. So I think they're going to, um, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how tired those horses are, because it's fairly undulating. And, um, but look, a tricky, no, I hope not. I certainly don't set out to be tricky. So basically you're a happy man after it's all finished. Yeah. And everyone's home yes. safe. Okay, Neil, that's great. Thank you very much. I better let, I'm sure it's time for your cup of tea. Sure. So, <laughs> grab one.